Well, in this video, I'm putting part of the walls up, which I got them up that wall. I'm putting the bottom half up anyways. So I'm trying to get these cabinets done. That's be the main part of this video is doing the cabinets. As you can see, I've already gotten a little bit of a start. I got the new front walls on. I did replace the one on the right there. Obviously the one that looks a little newer. Um, I'm gonna come about a foot out from the V-nose. This is gonna be my counter. Um, it's gonna be about three foot high. You see I drew a line about the height of the, height of the uh, countertop. And now I've started working on my own, um, my frame of my own um, counter. bottom the bottom countertops uh framed out well partially framed out um i'm gonna put a shelf up there um i still gotta put the sides on to put that shelf on though but um i'm gonna go back there i'm gonna probably put some legs back there for extra support i'm gonna obviously screw that to the wall but i'll put a couple of legs for support also to some I think that would hold up the screws to the wall, but just to be safe, I guess.
got the countertops cut um, to shape. I did a better job than what I thought I would, so I'm pretty happy with my mediocre carpentry skills. And Faith's gonna grab a bite D, but when I come back, I'm gonna I build a shelf and I'm gonna put that above that front countertop. Allergies killing me. Uh, tell you what, these pocket hole jig I, I just bought it the other day. It's a lifesaver. Makes things so much simpler. It's good uh, hold really good too. It makes me feel like a professional. Which I'm not. fixing to see if I could put the shelf up by myself. I got the line drawn up there about where I want it. Um, not sure exactly, but that's a reference point anyways. Perfect. Perfect fit. What's ain't like me? Usually. Usually I mess it up. I shell up. I'm proud of myself. Now, let me see what I might do with the bottom. Hmm. Right. Throw a couple of screws in there. That way we can, uh, that way I can trace out where I want my cabinet doors at. I think I put a screw right there. Yeah. 
Now I'm gonna figure out where I want my cabinet doors at. I'll take it back off and I'll cut them out and probably install the cabinet doors on the saw horses, make it a little bit easier on me. I got the board out here. Um, you see all these little little dots I drew. Um, I don't. I'm not a framer or a carpenter or whatever, so I just. I made it to where the, uh, put my measurements, like, from over here, seven and three quarter, 25 and three quarter, 36 and 54, and that should put it, uh, pretty even, my cabinet doors, and from the edges, I went seven and a quarter, and that should put them even from top to bottom, and, uh, so now I'll just take my framing square and, uh, trace them out and then cut the doors out cut the openings out and uh um like i said i'm not a carpenter so this is just dumb truck driver carpentry Break out the pistol sharpener. Now drill out the hole. But if you look at this, I bent it. I don't know what I did to bend it. I remember I bent it doing something. But, ooh, that one, it's hard to do with one hand. Looks good, huh? Yep. Look like I know what I'm doing, don't I? You're right. I look like I know what I'm doing, huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> now I get back from my trip. I get some time. I'll I'll start trip. I'll, I'll I'll stain it and sand it down just better and uh sand it down better and um and put some trim on this up here. Uh huh. It's taken me a few days, but uh I finished out the. Finished out the cabinets. I mean, they're roughed out. They still got a lot more to go. Um, so either painted or stained, maybe sanded and trimmed. And but like I said, I'm going on a trip here soon. And they need to be. This needs to be uh, ready as possible. Um, like I told you another another time. But there's a cabinet up here. This is a later date. It'll be, uh, I imagine, I'll, I don't know if I'm, 
that's my that was my plan, but I might just leave it as a cow uh, a shelf. But I was gonna frame it out later today as a cabinet. Um I didn't connect this piece yet because I got I got more to do up under there and it'd be a lot easier to do it if that's not uh if that's not um that's not on there. I'm a little too big to be crawling in tight spaces. Um made this little box for my my switch. I'll just I haven't it's not connected yet or anything. Um I'll drill a hole down there with my wires and I, I made it a little bit bigger so I, I could put some other doodads in there later on. Um I was thinking about a 110 volt outlet maybe. I don't know or maybe another one of these uh 12 volt outlets um i just wanted space to grow in case i needed to on that box um needs to be trimmed and i'm gonna stain it up probably more than likely it'll all be stained and, um but i got this truck fridge um i bought from a friend of a friend i've had it for several years it's meant to go on a semi um, my buddy bought one just like it from the same buddy. I guess the, he's bought several of them. He put his in a sleeper of his car hauler. Um, I still had this laying around. So it's 12 volt. It's not the biggest in the world, but I like the, I like the aspect that it's 12 volt and I already own it. So I'm going to use it. Um, bigger would be nicer, but I think I'll have it. Take a cooler with me. I mean, I might later on put a bigger cool, uh, bigger refrigerator or something in here. I, I don't know. It all depends what I need. Um, I'm sure some stuff got changed up. But anyways, I appreciate you watching it. So the cabinets are done and off to the next project. Please like and subscribe.